Oh, good morning, June. Uh, hope all the animals are fed. The, the um, what I've got on the screen here is it's actually, actually two um, PowerPoints that I've opened up. Uh, the one on the left is is uh, a PowerPoint that I used. I'm using for my presentation, and it's and it's about uh, 15 slides long. Okay, and the one on the right is is the uh, uh, rotary. Uh, template that they call it, um, not actually templated, but anyway, it it works quite well. Uh, here's what I do. I've I've opened them both so you can see what happens, but uh, it isn't necessarily uh, it isn't necessary that you have them both open at the same time, or well, you can toggle between them. But here's what I I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how to copy all the files in my in my presentation over to the um, template file. Okay, and then that will automatically put it into the template format. So watch as I'm doing this, please. Um, hopefully it's not too confusing. Um, the first thing I would do is, is I would put um, both files into the sort of the file sorter uh, view. So go up here to view and you'll see over on the side now, you're in a normal view here. You can go notes, pages if you want, but put it into the slide so sorter the slide sor sorter. Now, what that does is that it gives you a view of all the slides. Now, I'm going to reduce this considerably. You notice this little slide bar down here. You can you can click on that and, and really get a view of all the slides. We don't have to know what's on the slides for this example, but uh, you can see all the slides very easily. I'm going to do the same over here for the file, um, for the template file. So I go to view, I go to view, slide sorter, and I get two. Right, let's reduce that a little bit too because I'll need to keep them about the same. Okay, so what you can now see is both slides. Uh, the the file that I'm using to that has to be put in the template and the template file have been put into view format. And you can see 15 slides here and you can see two slides here. Our next step is to copy all the slides from my presentation over to the template. So watch me as I do that. I click on the first one and then I hold the the space button, the shift button, excuse me, the shift button down and I click on the last one. That collects all of them. Okay. And then I'm going to copy all of them. Now I can do that with right button. And it says copy. And then once I've copied them all, I bring it over to here. And I click just behind the last slide for the template. And when you click on that, there is a, uh, a bar, a sort of a vertical bar that shows. And that means what we're going to do is add to our in that space. So I right button that. And under paste, and it says, notice right button, the first paste is is this, and it and it in mine says use destination theme. So I simply click on that one. Hmm. So now you're going to be able to see this. So we're finished with this. We don't need that anymore. So I'm going to get rid of it. And we'll open this up further so you can see them all okay and what you'll notice is that all the files that we have have now got the theme in it well what are these first two ones well we don't need this this one so I'm going to click on that you notice it highlights it press delete and then click on the next one and press delete and these are all the 15 slides that I had and they've all got the theme on it. And we can look at that go to, to normal. And you'll see that they've all got the, the, the theme to it. Um, notice here that, that in this, it's sort of run into the logo down here. So I'm going to reduce the size here. What I could do is just move this up. Okay, how's that? So I move the text up a little bit. And that's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to go through and you're going to have to check every one of these slides. So coming down to the second slide, 
and looks good third slide looks good fourth slide looks good looks good good enough hmm. I think I got lucky um, your slides will have a lot of adjustments to do I'm, I found the same problem up here so I'm just going to uh, raise that a bit okay Uh, this one doesn't even see the logo because my my um, picture went right over top of everything, and I'm leaving that. It's no problem. Okay, but my circle seems to be out a little bit. Doesn't matter. How's that? I'm covering up the logo a little bit, but it, I mean, we're not going to worry about that too much. Same thing here, covering up the logo, but people don't really realize it. Okay. What I could do here is move this up. So, don't know why the rotary is. Oh, I know why. The pictures. What's that? So you notice what I did here is is the the logo down here was being covered up a little bit. So what I did is I just moved moved the this line up a little bit and then I noticed that the picture was covering it up so I, I just moved that over okay um, pretty well the same thing there is fine and I don't like that um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this one to cover up the logo and this I'm going to move over just so we can keep it within okay Should that's it. So um, here's here's the only problem you're going to have though. At the very end, you'll notice that you now have your presentation in the file that's called Rotary, which is the template. But I'd want to save that template. So, but if you save this file now as Rotary, you'd lose the template. So what I'm suggesting you do is go up to File and Save As, not Save, Save As, and make sure you change the name here. To something else okay presentation I don't know what I called my other one so I'll just hold that too okay and then you save it and now this is called presentation 2 and in your in your uh, hard drive you've got rotary so I hope that helps um, if you have a problem, let me know, and we'll talk about it Thursday. Or maybe Thursday you still want to – I think you've uh, mastered Zoom, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Okay, thanks very much.